YouTube! This is a quick addendum to part 8 of my DIY Aquarium Controller series. For my USB powered test rig, I need a smaller moonlight board to test the moonlight functions. You may have noticed it in episode 10. It's a quick and easy build, and this is something you can play with even if you don't want to build a moonlight. Just to play with the shift register. And while this is great for me with my test rig, it can also be easily wired up on a breadboard with a bare Adreno. Let me show you how. Here's a schematic. I soldered this up on stripboard and tried to make it as compact as possible, but it's wired exactly like this. There's a row of seven LEDs. When plugged in, they are at the top. Here they're showing at the bottom. The cathodes are all tied together and then to a 220 ohm resistor and connected to ground. Then each anode is tied to an output pin of the shift register. Outputs 0 through 6 are used, pins 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then provide ground to pin 8 and also pull pin 13 low by try tying it to ground. Pin 16 gets 5 volts DC, and pin 10 is pulled high by tying it to 5 volt DC also. Then pins 11, 12, and 14 go to pins 46, 47, and 48 on the Adreno Mega. You can use any three signal pins here. If you're using a different Adreno, such as an Uno, you'll have to just update the code with the pins that you choose. Here it is on an Uno on a breadboard. I have the link to the code in the description, and I go into further detail on the code in episode 8 if you're interested. I'll have a link for that also. And that's all there is to it. Have fun. Please share any suggestions or questions in the comments. Click like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.